You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Time to call a spade a spade. We've all heard about African time or even Nigerian time. What we need to ask is why we feel the need to be distinguished by such a practice as failing to keep time in the first place. I'm talking about a culture of late coming, habitual appointment breaking. Some may use the proverbial excuse of traffic or circumstances beyond our control. However, my deduction is that a regular failure to honor a time agreement stems from arrogance. That's right. We're happy or we're not unhappy to hijack the time of others at our own convenience. After all, they ought to understand how busy we are, right? We're blindly bolstered by a presumption that our time is more important than that of others or that whosoever is on the receiving end of our tardiness can be taken for granted. Case in point, being that even the worst repeat offender, when it comes to excuses such as, I'm on my way, oh, something came up, will ensure that nothing gets in their way of their punctuality if they had an interview appointment for the mother of all jobs, or if they were to meet a personality of their dreams. Essentially, what I'm saying is that a lot of our indiscipline when it comes to time management is relative and within our control. Every time we strand someone with little or no notification, we're saying that we don't respect them enough to either call up or give due notice or to make the necessary sacrifice to ensure that we don't have to say sorry in the first place. So let's square up with ourselves and accept that our lateness and failure to honor an agreement is a breach of trust that is costly to others, to us, our pers personal and national reputation, and is part of a culture of indiscipline that is harming our nation. Let's change our ways. You know, I, 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 can I, I agree with you. Oh, yeah, has never been late. It's I, the first I, thing I want to say. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> no, I, I thought about repeat, repeat, yeah. repeat offenders. I was, this month alone. That's why I'm quiet. Repeat no, offense. Okay, ask, no. This month alone. No, no, no. I, As in all of us, I'm even asking all well, of us. Well, to be honest, I have to be honest with, I with you. I'm usually on time because I always start. I, I'd rather be early than late. But I also appreciate that, come on, look at our environment. <laughs> look at all the things we're dealing with. <laughs> you know, you, you can't expect people to be on time all the time. Secondly, a lot of people, they have so many things they want to fit into one into their day. You know, so they're not going to not accept your appointment and not accept the other point. They're going to try and make all of it. So that's why they... However. But however, so my ma major problem <laughs> is when you know you're going to be much later than you said, or you're not even going to show up at all and you don't say anything. That for me is where the problem lies. If you free me on time, then I can go on and do what I want to do, you know, and, and get on my life. But you, most of the time, artisans especially, will keep you at home all day <laughs> waiting and they will not call you. Why? Because they don't want to lose your job. Because the moment they tell you, probably find somebody else. So they want to hold on to that job, hold on to your job. And basically, yeah, you're paralyzed. That's the culture that Ekene is talking mm. about, if I'm wrong, correct me. Mm -hmm. I think that's the culture she's talking about, that it's become such, it's become... It's you know, accepted. Yeah, it's become yeah. accepted. And, and I always say something, what is culture? Culture is something that's propagated by the majority, mm. right? And that's, that's, that's what's happened here. But, you know, I must admit, yeah, where's the camera? <laughs> you know, me, yeah, sometimes it's late. But I think the difference, and I think that's when I said, however, I think that's mm. what you're saying is mm. that... There's a difference to being late and to being disrespectful. Yes. Right? If, you don't, if you're not going to make it, don't say, I'm on my way. Please. And I'm going to speak, in fact, for Liboris right now in his absence. Where are you? You've got to come back, brother. <laughs> anyway, is that I remember Liboris saying, look, what have, we've had this discussion on a few advocates before. Yeah. Where, yeah. And Liboris said, look, what happens is I leave my house on time. I get to that bridge and the lawyer has overturned. Mm. And I've allowed for two hours. And suddenly, that, those two hours that I've allowed oh, for become six hours. Mm. And it's something that's outside of my control. Or, like you said, I've gone to one meeting because that person has been late. All exactly. my subsequent meetings. But because I'm in town, I want to actually do all of them at once rather than having to go out and, and come back in. So I think it's about... And don't forget the uh, transport as well. Exactly. When, when you add flying yeah, into exactly. it. Oh, so God. it's about yeah. that respect. It's about, I think when, again, I always say, you know, we need to start protesting. And I don't, when I say, I don't mean 
Yeah, but better be clear. Mm -hmm. You can protest by no. I've done it before. I just didn't wait. And I said, the next time you want a meeting with me, give me the actual time you can make it. It's okay. I don't mind. But I've waited there 30 minutes. Yeah, so you're off. It's okay. I'm yeah, off. You make sure you go. But let me know. Next time, just say the time you can make. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm late sometimes. But say it's a connect that I normally have lunch with. Mm -hmm. Because she's always late. Right, if you are, you'll be used to it. You just I, no, I'm just not going to live on time now. And that's you? all, yeah. <laughs> Nobody ever yeah, they have African time, time now. Exactly, yeah. that's, I went that's to a show right. recently that oh, yeah, started yeah, yeah. three hours that's late. Started, mm -hmm. yeah, I've right. been to one that's six the hours late. I mean, you're thinking, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Lauren Hill, yeah. we all sat downstairs. I'm one hour, two, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours. Eh? Here in Nigeria. Really? Yes, in yeah. this Nigeria, Nigeria, in this Lagos of Nigeria, <laughs> Africa. For the love we of sat there, sat there, sat there, sat there, and they say you should have gone. People have paid now. My God. We're going to, what am I going to do with that thing? Suya yeah. ticket? Yeah. Is it going to be for Suya? So, you know, yeah. but because we wait, mm -hmm. then people think it's people okay think. to do it if again. If we all didn't wait, some people collected them. You're absolutely That's right. Just you know, for another day. You, you have to start but, your, but vote, with your, think vote just, with your feet, vote with your feet, vote with your money. You know, yeah. I can. Funny enough, I'm always punctual, but I, I'm open. I'm, I actually give a lot of people leeway. I actually they, have to say, when she, they're she's doing not that. exaggerating because yeah. she gets it. <laughs> I'm always when uh, we're supposed oh, to. Oh yeah, get I'm, I'm, I have that in mind. Why you keep quiet? I don't want to disrespect. Yeah, I don't want to disrespect my. I'm not saying anything. Please, you are. Please, you must speak. No, no, I just. Why be confess yourself? Now. Am I being too harsh no, when I should make a arrogant. connection between she arrogance? arrogance? That's so what I, I want quiet. to find out. Um, but, but to be fair, it's mm. not arrogance. I don't think it's arrogance. I, for I, could it be arrogance? arrogance. I, 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 I think the word is tardiness. No, I'll That's give you arrogance. arrogance. It's tardiness. I'm, I'm obviously for tardy. That's the <laughs> dignitaries. You know, the dignitaries, they're like that. They, the so-called VIPs. Right. I can give you arrogance <laughs> for that. But if you're saying that the average oh. man, you know, an artisan or just the normal, but I wouldn't put it down to arrogance. You know, you know why I say the Word Sometimes arrogance. it's because, arrogance. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. I say, yes, for so. you to keep someone waiting, you must think that what you're doing and not even inform them. Yeah. yeah because if you, if you really respect it, that's why I see the I see your time management and respect as one and ah. two sides yeah. of the same. Yeah. 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 I couldn't yeah. be in a relationship you, with someone who you know can't, that. you know, keep treat my that. time you, you as equally valid as their own time. You know I don't that like out that. Of respect, mm. I may not be able to tell you that I'm late. Oh, don't mind Don't mind Say do, do not call. allow this man to take you around down no, the wrong no, path. No, no. I, I think the reason they don't he call can't. is just they're trying to keep you. Job. Yeah, they're, they're trying, they're trying the to keep you there. They are because if they keep you and you don't call somebody that day, then the next morning then they'll show up and do your job. Mm. But they knew they were well, never going to do your job. Remember what we're talking about? Remember about is repeat offense. Yeah. It's one thing to do it habitual. If you do it regularly, then there's something you're not making plans. I think. I completely agree with you. It's it's kind of disrespectful, mm. you know, when you you don't keep to an appointment. Uh, I belong to an organization. And one of the can cardinal points there's trust and respect, because somebody else is sacrificing his or her time yeah. to mm -hmm. come for that meeting. The right. least you do is make out time. Absolutely. And if for any reason you're not going to make that appointment, please yeah. notify the person so you could have- In plenty of time. Time to plan for something else. Yeah. So it's kind of disrespectful in my own view mm. that you know, you just, you think it's okay that I should understand that you're one hour, th 30 minutes late. It's not okay. Because mm. that Happy time I'll do something your else. Sins. Just, yeah. just give, me, give me warning. <laughs> confess your sister or viewers. Confess your sister or viewers. Don't worry. Let me confess on your behalf. Confess on his behalf. Let me confess. My confession is actually I was one hour late on my wedding day. <gasps> wow. I kept my husband. Well, you have every right to be. <laughs> but I repented since then. That's I'm very good. Yeah. <laughs> Papi, you're the kind of groom that we will <laughs> have to. No, 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 the bride to. will be waiting <laughs> for <laughs> him. My fault, though. My fault, Uncle Raj kept me waiting. Let him wait. <laughs> let him wait. Let what wait. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, Papi, will say, let her wait. She's the one that wants to marry me now. Yeah, yeah. Tell her to wait. If she's very serious <laughs> about it, I'm building a house right now that we're going to live in. You'll, you'll so tell her to wait. That, that is a terrible time <laughs> awful. to be late. That's awful. Because, yes. oh my goodness. Imagine your husband. Palpitations, the end. But there pictures of him looking at his watch and with his best man. He wasn't afraid. You know, you're yeah. lucky there were no ex boyfriends that say, See, I told you she ain't gonna come. No, the statistics of walking out of my marriage are very low. So I don't think, I don't think the groups know. But it does. So I don't, for me, I, I won't be immediately thinking, Oh, it's going to be a disaster. She's not coming. No, I'll just think. You see what I mean? Do you see? Even, I, you see what I mean? Papi is a, I said, Don't let him lead you no, in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy is strange. That's the spread on this edition.
Uh, I mean, the time just went so quickly. What else is left to do after a feast such as this one, um, but to digest and perhaps take some action of our own? I really enjoyed uh, a lot of the uh, advocacy. In the meantime, do keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, let's all keep advocating for a better society. Bye bye. 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 Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's really. disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. There could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a terrible, very strategy. Very terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.